Hi everybody, it's Michelle here from Dragonfly Spirit. I hope you're having a fabulous week so far. It is Wednesday the 16th of December and it is a public holiday here in South Africa, but I am still doing my reading for the day. If you're finding my channel for the first time, welcome. Please drop me a note in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you and um, consider subscribing as well. I would love to increase my numbers by the end of the year, so I am giving away a free reading at the end of the year if I reach my target. So I hope to hear from you all. So today I'm just doing a general sort of um, insight into the day, into the rest of the week. And um, if you saw my video earlier in the week, I think it was on Sunday, I did a review of this, or a walkthrough actually, of this deck here. It is the Fantastical Creatures Tarot by Lisa Hunt, which is absolutely gorgeous. I love, 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 love this deck. I know I say I love all my decks, but I really, really do like this one. I'm a huge Lisa Hunt fan. And I've decided to pair it with this deck here, which is the Dragon Oracle Cards by Diana Cooper, which are these ones here. So let's get straight into it and see what um, the fantastical creatures have for us today. So our first card we have is the star. Now the star is a card about success. It is a card about reaching your goals and making everything work for you um, because you have tapped into a new form of energy. And I think that's really, really important to look at. Um, this bird that you see here is called a firebird, a Russian firebird. And um, it is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I sorry, I get quite lost in the imagery, so I mustn't do that. I'm here to give you a message. So the star is a card about rebirth. It is a card about um, tapping into a new energy that you have found either within yourself or from a connection to spirit so that you can find new ways to move forward with your life. Um, so let's have a look and see what the second card is so that we can get a little bit more information about the first one. Uh, the Eight of Cups makes a little bit more sense. The Eight of Cups is all about cutting your losses and moving away from a situation or a person that does not serve you any longer. So for me, these two together are telling a little story about how you need to tap into your intuition, tap into your innate knowing, into a new energy, so that you have the strength of character to walk away from a situation, a relationship, or a person that is negative, a person or relationship or a situation that does not serve you anymore, something that is bringing you down. So this card is telling you to connect to your inner power, to your innate strength, to your um, new, can I say identity, your new self-awareness, so that you feel confident enough to move away um, and to cut your losses, I think. Because sometimes, you know, a relationship or a situation reaches its fulfillment and we, we don't know how to move away. We don't know how to move on. We feel as if we are constantly being drawn back into something because it's what we know. And this is telling us that it's okay. It is okay just to cut your losses, let go, and move forward so that you can have a better life for yourself. So let's have a look what the dragons have to say. And the dragon is royal blue and gold dragon. Isn't he beautiful? Look, he's got a sword in his hand. And the words say, strengthens you to stand in your power with wisdom. Awaken to your own majesty. Wear your cloak of power with pride. Now, isn't that just beautiful and how it works perfectly with the previous cards? So these two cards are actually mirroring each other. You need to stand in your own power, in your wisdom. Tap into that energy. Know that you have the self-confidence. Trap, cat, sorry. Tap into, not trap, tap into that new energy, that new self-confidence so that you can release yourself from whatever it is that's holding you back, whatever it is that sees you not able to move forward, so that you do have um, 
your your majesty and you can walk away with power and pride. I love that together. I think that's absolutely a beautiful message. Thank you to the fantastical creatures and the dragons today to give us that message. And I hope you have a fabulous public holiday if you're here in South Africa. If not, you can still have a fabulous day and I'll see you again on Friday. Thanks. Bye-bye.